There's something amazing going on right now behind the scenes that is about to burst onto the world stage. It's quietly gathering momentum and is only two years away. Few people know about it. Everybody's going to hear about it. The consequences are huge. The clock is ticking. I'm David Vasquez. I'm a college instructor, author, animator, and independent filmmaker. And I'm starting a group here in San Francisco to illustrate and advocate for, on a grassroots level, solar hydrogen technology. One of the themes we've come up with in our program is Countdown to 2015. And if you're wondering why we came up with that and what's supposed to happen in 2015, then consider this. In 2015, two big things are going to occur. The first of them is that almost all the major car companies, and that includes both foreign and domestic, are going to introduce hydrogen fuel cell cars to the mass market. The second big thing is that according to the U.S. Department of Energy, the cost of solar power will reach full parity with fossil fuels. In other words, by practically any measure, in just two years, solar energy will no longer be more expensive than oil, coal, or natural gas. The consequences of this could be immediate. We're looking at a worldwide stampede towards solar energy, but that's only half the story. We need to have a way to store and transport all that energy. This is where hydrogen comes in. Hydrogen is now positioned to become the energy currency of the future. It could power all buildings and all forms of motorized transportation. Simply stated, massive changeover to solar hydrogen fuel cell infrastructure is not only possible, it seems to be the only realistic and hopeful option we have for seriously combating climate change and a full gamut of other problems, both environmental and economic, now before us. If that sounds exaggerated, check for yourself some of the links on this web page. The purpose of the project will be to illuminate the key issues with hydrogen, including safety, efficiency, convenience, and cost. There's also a more generic reason to support this project. Dutch sociologist Fred Pollack once famously stated that the rise and fall of f images of the future precedes or accompanies the rise and fall of cultures. As long as a society's image is positive and flourishing, the flower of culture is in full bloom. Once the image begins to decay and lose its vitality, however, the culture does not long survive. If this is true, that our images of the future are, to some extent, a self-fulfilling prophecy, then not only is it a good idea to present optimistic visions of tomorrow, as this project will do, it may be a moral obligation to do so. Sometimes pessimism is not an option. Please help us bring this vision of a solar hydrogen future to the American public on a grassroots level so that a national dialogue about the changeover to a carbon-free energy solution can begin.